Welcome to the round four uh, AFL injury report brought to you by AIA Vitality. Uh, here's the latest updates for the health of the list going into this week. Um, so we've got Trent Bianco, as we spoke about the last couple of weeks, he had that um, swelling and inflammation around his knee joint. Uh, Trent's on medication now and starting to trend in the right direction with that swelling decreasing. Um, we're hopeful now that Trent, by the end of this week or start of next week, will commence back into a running program. Um, but as I say, um, we'll assess how that knee holds up towards the end of the week before he has his first run. But definitely trending in the right direction for Trent, so still looking in that four to six week timeline as an estimation. Jamie Elliott um, was back in the club this week, so he commences his early stage rehab as of this week. Um, he'll be pretty low level um, inside rehab for the next two weeks um, before we have any meaningful loading that goes into, into Billy. So he'll pretty much be conservative in the first um, early phase of rehab and this regeneration phase after his surgery. Let's say it'll be two to three weeks time before we have anything significant to, to comment on, on Billy. Uh, out of the weekend's games, um, we're pretty clean bill of health at AFL level. Uh, a couple of incidents, so Chris Main you would have seen come off the ground. Uh, he went down through concussion protocol, but was just that knock to his jaw rather than concussion symptoms. So he, he passed any, um, any concussion protocols downstairs with the doctors. That was just a, uh, a jaw knock that he had in that third quarter. Uh, and Brody Majacek right at the end of the game just had bilateral doctor cramping just from high fatigue with playing a high stint of a game uh, in the second half where he had no rotation. So they were the two from AFL level, but both have recovered really well and expected to play this week. At VFL, um, Nathan Murphy suffered concussion, um, so he'll follow the 12-day minimum protocol with, with the, the new rules in place. Uh, and due to Murph having previous concussion history, uh, he's one that will we'll earn the side of caution. Um, so this week will be very light for Nathan. Um, he'll be off legs just with some light cardio inside. We'll build up a little bit of function towards the end of the week, but we'll be non-contact fully, as I say, until at least a 12-day um, has surpassed. So uh, again, pretty, pretty well on injury front. Um, we've got obviously Trent, Billy Elliott, and, and Murph unavailable this week. We'll have our main training session tomorrow, and we look forward to a really good games on Saturday. So the VFL down in Geelong on Saturday morning. Hopefully they can um, put in a four-quarter four performance and have a strong performance to back up what they did against Richmond on the weekend. And obviously AFL level um, looking to bounce back off that deflating last minute defeat against the Lions. Um, hopefully you can bounce back with a win at G against GWS. So uh, the boys are feeling really refreshed after the long weekend, the Easter weekend break. Should have a sharp training session tomorrow. I say look forward to getting back on the winners list this week. So bring your best to the G. Go Pies.